So this tutorial aims to show you how to access the ESGF data. So first of all, you need to know that the Earth System Grid Federation is a decentralized and federated nodes network with international collaboration. ESGF data comply with conventions which are increasingly gaining acceptance and have been adopted by a number of projects and groups as the primary standards. So you need to note that whatever the EGF node you request, you access the same data archive. In this tutorial, we will use the IPSL ESGF node in order to download climate variables or energy indicators produced in the context of the Copernicus Climate Change Service. So on the home page, at the first step, you need to create your ESGF account by clicking on the upper right link. Then fill the form and validate your information. So when your ESGF account is properly registered, you can simply log yourself on the index node by clicking on the upper right link again. Then select your index node. Here is the IPSL. And give your username and password. So you are uh, redirected to the home page with your uh, username on the upper right. So you need to know that uh, some ESGF data are restricted to users grouped with uh, specific permissions. In our case, to access Copernicus data, you need to register either to the Codex Research or Commercial Group by clicking on the links in the table. So here we will show the Codex Commercial. I just select my index node and click on the subscribe button and then my login is affiliated to the Codex Commercial Group. So I can go back again on the home page and from the same table I can now access the search interface of the project. So here, three trace energy data. From the search interface, by clicking on the Home tab on the upper left, you can access to the project overview with the project website, so here Clean for Energy website. For more information. And in addition, we strongly recommend to read the data management plan of the project to efficiently find the data you need. And then you can go back on the search interface by clicking on the right widget called the search and download data with the search with options link. Okay, so now either you want climate variable or energy indicators, you need to select the different parameters of the data structure depending on your needs. So assume you would like to access wind capacity factor data, you need to select first an activity that correspond to the different work packages of the project. Then you need to select a source type that could be derived from global or regional climate models, for instance. And then finally, you need to select a data source depending on the model, an emission scenario, and so on. Then click on the search button and you get the results of your research. So when you get the results of your research, you can see the different dataset matching your request. For each dataset, you can show the different metadata, you can show the different files, and add the dataset to your download card. So for each file, for instance, the first way to download the data is to click on the HTTP server link by giving again your OpenID. and the file is downloaded. Then you can add the dataset to your data card. Go to your data card on the upper right corner. Select all the datasets and download a wget script to run on the terminal. So we hope this tutorial was helpful for you and if you need any support, please contact us with the following email.